Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for May 13th, 2021. Let's see what's going on. If you had a very weird day yesterday, I record these in advance. I batch film them. We'll have to see what happens. Um, but please report down below what kind of day you had yesterday. <laughs> and let's see what's going on for today. What do you need to know? Just get prepared. Get prepared. And you get prepared not by being scared and running around and trying to hoard food and whatever. No. And come on. No, you don't got to do that. Spiritually speaking, with your light, your light will sustain you. All right. So that is the thing that will keep you in a space of clarity and understanding and problem solving and all that good stuff. Okay. So work through your fears. <laughs> new moon in Scorpio. Did, wasn't there a new moon yesterday? I have to think about that. Uh, work through your fears. So yes, yeah, something has transformed. Something has been revealed. Truth. Scorpio. Have you ever met a Scorpio? Hard truth. I'm a stellium Scorpio. So if you find yourself wanting to come to these videos, it's because you like to have things not be sugarcoated, okay? You want just the truth. Lay it down and not make a big deal out of it, right? So this is something where maybe we get a little rattled. Maybe we're being asked to change faster than we thought we ever would. And it doesn't feel like, especially for individuals, for a lot of you out there watching this, it doesn't feel negative. It feels like you get like what you've always wanted. And now that it's right in front of you, you're like, uh, what do I do with this? <laughs> I always wanted a house. What do I do with property taxes? How do I get insurance? Like, what am I doing? You know, uh, or with a new job. Oh my gosh, am I ready for all this responsibility? Or you, you know, had a crush on somebody for forever and then they turn around and say, hey, you want to grab coffee? And all of a sudden you don't know what to do. Yeah, it's that kind of energy. And then we're contending with the energy out in the world, the collective energy. And there are going to be a lot of shakeups. There are going to be a lot of things that make us stop and question kind of everything. If this was going on right under our noses, what else is going on? Now, this isn't encouraging people to be suspicious or, you know, anything of the sort, but be flexible. Yes, you have to be adaptable. There's a lot that we've been trying to manifest for a very long time, you know, and, and now we're starting to see some things crumbling and changing. And I'm hearing it's going to be inconvenient. I've been saying this for a long time. I feel like there are huge changes around banking systems. And it's going to be very inconvenient at first because you're going to have to adjust to a new way. But that new way is not going to happen today. I mean, <laughs> you have plenty of time to get, you know, to learn the new way of doing things. But just be ready for this. A lot of people can't handle change very well. And so they're constantly putting the energy out there to hold it back and look at where that's gotten us. All right. Now, our idea of change isn't everyone's idea of change. One of the things that we're going to have to work through that is a fear of ours is this fear of everything that we've believed in being false. And so when someone comes up and they have a different perspective, we fight it so hard because it threatens what we think we know. Do not ask me to think differently. Do not ask me to expand my awareness and look at all facets of a situation. Don't ask me to be fair. Now we don't have a choice. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.